Hey guys, what's up? This is Shukesh and today I will show you how you can use this software called Passweb Android Unlock to unlock any Android phone without the passcode. And if you have a Samsung device, then you can even remove Google FRP lock in minutes. Now it supports Android lock like a pattern lock, pin, fingerprint or password lock. and. Uh, as I just mentioned, it can remove Google FRP that is factory reset protection lock from your Samsung devices without the passcode. Now FRP provides a built-in security feature. You are able to use that protects your device and information including screen locks and data encryptions. Now if you are a Mac user then don't worry there is also a Mac version of Passfab Android Unlock. You can try this software free of cost before you pay anything. So let me show you how to use this software. So this is the user interface of the software. You get two options, remove screen lock and remove Google lock that is FRP lock. So let's first try the remove screen lock option. You get two tabs. First one is to remove screen lock without any kind of data loss and it supports early Samsung devices. And the second option is to remove the screen lock which will delete the data but works on most of the Android devices. Let's first try Try this remove screen lock option for older Samsung devices so uh, just click start and uh, you need to look for the model of your Samsung device which is listed here so these are the devices that are compatible that is up to Galaxy S6 Edge Plus and uh, unfortunately I don't have any of these devices with me right now but uh, it's really great to have this feature for older Samsung devices make sure you select the correct device model so once you select the correct model number of your Samsung device please confirm and make sure you selected the correct information so once again, I don't have the device, so I cannot show you the end result, but this works. It will first download the data package and then click next and eventually unlock your Samsung device. Now let me show you the most important remove screen lock. Uh, what you need to do is just connect your device to the computer and make sure there is only one device that is connected to the computer and uh, once again this will wipe clean all the data on the phone. I have connected my Galaxy S9 Plus. It works on older devices like Galaxy S7 and also newer Samsung devices and also non Samsung devices that is on Android. So simply click start and it will guide you through the process. Uh, there is another warning about the data loss so it has started and it's getting data from online about this removal process and there you go here are the instructions you need to follow first you need to enter into recovery mode long press the power and the volume down buttons uh, to power off the device then press and hold the volume up home and the power buttons at the same time there will be a samsung logo that will appear on the screen then when the screen displays installing system update or no command, the device will enter into recovery mode automatically. When the interface shown here is displayed, it means that you have successfully entered into recovery mode. Once again, these instructions are for my Samsung device. If you have another device, then the instructions will be different. So the next step is to use the volume rocker to uh, scroll down to wipe data or factory reset and you can use the power button to select and confirm. Then select yes and click the power button to restart your device. Then by using the volume rocker select wipe cache partition and click yes to confirm using the power key. Then select the option reboot system now and click the power button to confirm. So there you go the system password on the device has been removed and this is how you can uh, factory reset and also remove any type of screen lock on your Android device. Next option is to remove Google lock that is FRP and the procedure is actually very simple just connect your device and uh, select the device's current OS version which can be Android 11 or Android 6, 9 or 10 and the third option is for Android 7 or 8. 
it works on Samsung devices only and you need to connect the device to Wi-Fi and also it doesn't incur any kind of data loss so simply click here to start the process so if you need the software definitely try it out the download link is in the description you can buy the software at a discounted price of $30 a month or $40 for a year but I would suggest for the lifetime license at $50 so definitely try this software out that's all for now thanks a lot for watching guys